These are the Rode Legal Ferrari SF90X Extra Dolly and SF90X X Spider debuting with 1016 horsepower. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another video where all of Ferrari's previous XX models were solely for the track, but that has changed with the newly unveiled SF90 X Extra Dale and SF90 X X Spider Convertible. Now customers can enjoy these more powerful models for public roads. However, Ferrari keeps them rare by making just 799 hard tops and 599 drop tops. Now both models continue to use the twin turbo four liter V8 with assistance from three electric motors, two for the front axle, one between the engine and transmission. Now the power output grows to a total of 1,016 horsepower versus 986 horsepower for the standard SF90 Stradale. Now by itself, the V8 in the SF90 X Extra Dale makes 786 horsepower, 586 kilowatts instead of 769 horsepower, 573 kilowatts for the previous iteration. Now the engine features new pistons, specific matching of the combustion chamber, and polished inlet and exhaust ducts. Now the tube coming intake plenum is closer to the cabin bulkhead to bring more of the engine sound into the cabin. Now the engineers also eliminated the secondary air system to shed 7.72 pounds, 3.5 kilograms. Now the electric motors also receive a power upgrade to make a total of 229 horsepower, 171 kilowatts versus the 217 horsepower, 162 kilowatts for the previous iteration. Now the battery capacity remains at 7.9 kilowatt hours and when running solely on electric power the range is still 15.53 miles which is 25 kilometers and the top speed in ev mode is unchanged at 84 miles per hour 135 kilometers now there's an extra boost function from the electric motors when the SF90XX is in the qualifying driving mode. Now the system adds more power when exiting a corner and Ferrari claims that the feature cuts lap times around the Fiorano circuit by 0.25 seconds. The battery has enough juice to provide up to 30 of these power jolts. And the gearbox is still an eight speed dual clutch unit. Revised software also adds a noise when changing gears that is similar to the exhaust note when lifting off the throttle at high revs. Now both models reach 62 miles per hour in 2.3 seconds and have a top speed of 199 miles per hour. Now the SF90X Extra Dale has improved braking from the redesigned front calipers with better cooling. The rear rotors grow 390 millimeters instead of the existing 360 millimeters. The new ABS Evo controller works with the 6WCD sensor to get an estimation of the vehicle's speed and then calculate the proper braking distribution. Now Ferrari tweaks the SF90X Extra Dale to look more aggressive than the standard model. You can see there's a large front splitter that directs air under the car to channel the flow to the redesigned underbody. The automaker reports it produces over 99 pounds, 45 kilograms more at 155 miles per hour, 250 kilometers than the regular model. Now where the existing vehicle has a wide outlet on the hood, Ferrari adds more sophisticated aero elements to the SF90XX. A pair of ducts are on each side of the nose and there are two more near the center. Three grills are on each front fender as well. And the rear receives equal attention with two inlets that are on the engine cover just behind the roof. There are also revisions to the openings in the fenders and three grills are right behind them. Now at the very back, Ferrari installs a fixed wing, which is gonna be the elephant in a room, love it or hate it. Now the brand says that this is the first road legal model since the F50 to have one as standard from the factory. So you're gonna have to let me know how you feel about that. And in total, the body revisions, well, they make 1,168 pounds, 530 kilograms of downforce at 155 miles per hour. Now interior changes are more minor. The SF90XX has an Alcantara dashboard and a lot of carbon fiber trim. The gear selector is further forward and the seats appear to be a single piece design, but elastic trim connects the upper and lower sections so the occupants can adjust the backrest. Now the SF90XX Spider is largely similar to the SF90X Extra Dale, except the roof can open in 14 seconds. The revisions for the drop top mean that 
Some of the inlets in the rear deck of the coupe are gone. Now currently there's no word on price, but in order to get on a list to get one of these allocations, I'm assuming you're gonna be very um, high up in Ferrari's clientele, even though the price will be a premium from the regular SF90, which is already an expensive price. Well, uh, money probably won't be an option for you. But with that said, what do you guys think about the looks and styling of the new SF90XX? and everything that it comes with. Drop those comments down below. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys wanna help further support the channel, always check out the links down in the description below where I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, and Patreon, just in case you guys wanna donate an extra dollar or two to the channel. Appreciate the love, guys, as always. Thank you so much. You guys can also check out the Rise Rise merch and social media links down in the description below. Now, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day. We will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.